Welcome everybody to today's video. We are going to do a video in Python and we're going to cover the turtle module. The turtle module is a great way to learn and visualize what you're doing. It's basically a way to draw on a canvas in Python. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically draw the star that they give us in the documentation, but we're going to add some flair to it. So we're going to create stars all over the page and we're going to uh, change it up a little. So why don't I show you what it looks like before we get started. All right, we're going to basically just plot out different stars and and random on the screen, just like this. So let's take this one step at a time and we'll do this in real time. So let's just document out the steps. So first we're going to do is create our star. And then after we create the star, then we will change the star color. And once we have changed the color, then we can change the background because the background is going to be, we're going to make it black, but since our star is default black, we'll do change the star color first and then we'll change the background color. So we'll do that. And then after we've changed the background color, we can work on changing the location of the star. That way we can pick different plots on the canvas. And then after we do that, we can change the size. And then one last thing is we've done one star, different colors, different locations, different sizes. Let's make multiple ones. We've got all that. We'll do that create multiple stars all right so that's the steps that we're going to do in order to do this we need to start with first couple modules the first one is called uh, import turtle and the other one we're going to need is import random because we're just going to assign random values when we change the color and size and the location uh, before we begin i'll put this in the description but there is great documentation here on how we create all these uh, different methods within the star. So I've referenced a lot of these along with other tutorials you can find on YouTube. So first of all, let's go ahead and draw out our star and take a look at it. So what, the way we do that is we say star equals turtle and star is the name that we picked. That could be anything. And then we'll assign it uh, turtle. All right. So if we run it, now we should just get a blank cursor. Oh, I did forget in order for that uh, screen to stay on my editor, I need to add turtle.done. All right, now let's go ahead and, all right, so now you can see the turtle has displayed. So we want the turtle to do something, right? So let's do star.forward and let's move it 100 pixels. And there we go, it's moved to the right. What if we want to change the speed? Star.speed. And these are all in the documentation as well. But speed zero is, we're going to change it to really fast. I believe it's one or 10 is slower. Yeah, it's hard to see with one line. We'll, uh, we'll adjust that later. So anyway, now we have a turtle that is moved across the screen. So we want to do something interesting with it. We want to draw maybe a star. So back in the documentation here, I'm going to use something similar to this is a while loop. And what the while loop does is it just repeats that forward and turning uh, over and over until it's reached a certain condition. So in this case, what we're going to do, we'll get rid of that. We'll start with while true. So this is going to run until a condition is met. Once the condition is met, then it'll break. And what we're going to say is star forward. And we'll say, uh, how about 200 pixels for now? And let's make sure I spell correctly. And then we want to do a turn, which I haven't shown you yet, but that would be star dot left. And what we want to do is calculate, depending on how many times we turn, how much we want to turn. So if we're going forward, we're going to turn this direction and uh, in this example, we'll use 170 degrees. All right. And then let's see, 
let's go ahead and run that and see what that shows us. All right. So now it is making our star. We took out our speed variable, so it's going to be slow. Let's add that back in. So star dot speed, and we'll put back zero. All right. Yep, much quicker now. And now it's still in the while loop, so it hasn't exited. But what we want to do is once it reached the beginning, we want it to quit. So the way we do that is we'll say if star heading, or yeah, heading, which is another method, is equal to zero, then we will break. All right, let's go ahead and run that now. All right, we have reached our first star. We've created it, yay. All right, so let's go to the next one. Now we want to change our star color. All right, so the way we can do that is we're going to use random here. Above the star creation, we're going to set it up here. And I'll just create a comment, and we'll say set color. And let's do this. Let's say first turtle.color mode. And we need this. Otherwise, we're going to get errors when we go to assign a value of 0 to 255, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, so that's important that we do this. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to get errors. Uh, okay, and next we can set some values. So we're going to have red, and then we're going to have green and blue for the RGB colors. And what are we going to set those? Well, let's set, let's just pick a random number from 0 to 255 because that is what we're going to use to assign the color. So if you're familiar with the three values, of RGB, it can be anywhere from 0 to 255. So let's use a random module to select one for us. So random.randint, and then we pass in the first value, which could be 0, and the next value could be 255. Now let's go ahead and copy that. We're going to use the same values for red, green, and blue. So we've basically defined those, and we will now color our star. So star.color, and we will choose or pass in red, green, or and blue. So each number will be set. So we'll have a random number of red, green, and blue, and that will give us our color. All right, let's go ahead and run that. So we have, we'll say that's teal. We'll run it again, and now we have kind of red. So we have different colors now. One other thing we can do that's kind of fun is we can fill in the star. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's fill in, after we've drawn it, fill in the color. And the way we, we do that is we can use a star begin fill. So star dot begin underscore fill. And one thing you have to be sure is you have to be before it starts drawing the star and after. So we'll do an end star dot end fill. And uh, one mistake that, you, that I made was you cannot put it inside the while loop. So make sure it begins before and after. All right, let's go ahead and run it. And once it completes the star, then it fills it in. That looks pretty good. All right, now let's go on to the next step. So we've changed the star color. Let's go ahead and, and add a background color. This one is pretty simple. Uh, also in the documentation, one line here we can do that. And that is basically star.get screen and then we'll pass in BG color and we'll pick out a color and we're just going to say black to make it simple. All right, now we have a black background with a star color. All right, let's go on to the next one now. Now let's change the location of the star. All right, well this one's going to be similar to color. We're going to do a similar uh, random integer using the random. Uh, so the way that we're going to do position is we're going to plot basically two in an x, y uh, plane. So x being vertical, y being horizontal. We're going to plot somewhere in there and pick a position. So we'll say x equals random integer. And then we're going to do somewhere in between. Uh, you can pick your size, but I'm going to say roughly 300. So that would be negative 300 by 300. And we'll do the same for y, random dot ran. Problem with the one before, 300. Random dot ran it. All right, so 
now we've set x and y position let's go and do a star dot set position and pass an x and y all right let's go ahead and run it now our star is roughly here let's close and run it again and it should change positions and it has it's moved down here however we do have a problem here with this line being drawn and what's happening is imagine if you're drawing on canvas you always start in the center and you move to where you want to go well we're not telling the cursor to pick up and put down so there's another couple methods one is called pin up and the other one is called pin down so before we set the position, we'll do a star dot pin up. And after we set the position, we'll do a star dot pin down. All right, let's run that again. And you can see that there was no line from the center. So we have solved that one. All right, so we've changed the location. Now let's do change the, the size of the star. So another one here, we'll do another variable size. We'll also use the random integer module. Uh, so we'll say equal to random dot rand int. And we are going to do same thing pixels. I don't want to do it too small. So we'll go at least 10. So it's not teen tiny, not too big to fill up the whole canvas. So I'll, I'll say somewhere around 200. So 10 and 200. How's that? So if we run it, uh, Okay. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, what we need to do is we need to change this one here. So as we're drawing the size, we need to call that size and then it'll call here. And so it'll be between here and here. So let's run it and we'll say, okay, well, it's about, well, it's hard to imagine, but we'll say it's about two inches and then we'll run it again and it looks about the same let's run it one more time yeah it's really not changing much is it yeah there's a quite a bit smaller in there so hard to hard to demonstrate until we get to drawing them all out and you can see how big they, or small they get all right so we've changed the size now we want to do is the last step is create multiple stars so it's going to draw many of them like you saw at the beginning how do we do that? Well, I think the easiest way we could do it is re, uh, create a for loop. So basically we could, uh, you know, one thing we could do is we could just draw the star over and over and over, uh, but it really wouldn't uh, be very efficient. So one of the fundamentals would be to create a loop. So really what we could do is real simple to do is all the attributes that we used should be inside the loop. So setting color, setting the, the position, setting the size, drawing the star, all of that could be in the in the for loop. So in Python, it's just for i in range. And then how many times do you want to draw the star? Well, we're, we'll just choose seven, keep it simple. And then everything inside all those attributes that we did, uh, we will put it under that for loop. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and run it and you can visualize it. All right, so one, two, three, and then it'll get up to seven and then it should be done. All right. So hopefully all of that made sense. Uh, one other thing that probably be better practice and just keep in mind, I'm also a beginner, so I'm learning this as well. So if you have suggestions, leave those in the comments. Uh, one thing you could do is make this a function. And so you could call that each, each time. So I could do define draw star and I would pass in the, um, the star that we're creating and then everything inside of the four, well, whatever we're doing to draw the star could be in there. And then down here, we'd call the function draw star and pass in star. So let's see. Did I call it draw star? Oh, yeah, I need, there we go. So yeah, run the similar, but uh, yeah, it's better to get in good habits of creating functions. Um, so I just added that in there. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, leave those below, and I will see you in the next video. So long.